This video will show you how to create a two-character dialogue interaction in Captivate. A two-character dialogue as defined here is one where you make two characters, generally people, exchange conversation on screen through callouts without any corresponding audio. I have already created the interaction over here, so I will click on the preview and show you how it works. As you see, clicking on these buttons sequentially shows a conversation between the two characters on the stage. Now let us create this interaction from the beginning. I'll go to this new slide. Here I will quickly create the stage by inserting characters and callouts. To insert characters, you need to go to the media drop down and select characters. As you see, you have a choice of inserting these two characters with different postures and expressions. Since I'm using a trial version of Captivate, I only get limited options. To know more about the characters, check out the concept module uh, on media drop down. If you have a full version, you can select any of the postures as applicable to your scene. Right now, I am inserting what is available. Once the position of the first character is finalized, you can insert another one. The process is same. and then add the callouts from the shape dropdown. Once your stage is set, you first need to define the normal state of each of these objects. Normal or default states are the states in which the object first appears when the slide loads. Since I do not have many options to change the state of characters, I will only be working with callouts. So to add a state, you need to select one of the two callouts. Since the normal state is already selected as shown here, you may directly make the desired changes by using the formatting options in the style tab here. For example, when the slide loads, if you do not want the callout to appear, you need to change its opacity to zero and its border to zero as well. If you want similar behavior for the other callout, you need to repeat the process for that one. Once all the normal states of the two callouts have been defined, that is, you've created the first scene of the conversation, you need to add another state to all the necessary objects to create the second scene. This process is similar to the previous one except that now you also need to add the state as next state is not available. So let's say in the next scene you just want to change the state of the first callout here. For that, you simply need to have to select the object, go here, add a new state by clicking this plus sign, and then give your state a name, um, say second scene. Once this new state gets created, you need to change the style of the selected object as you wished it to, have, uh, to be in the second scene. So for example, I am ch I'll change the opacity of this callout and add some text to it. That's all. Your second scene is ready and stored in states. Now you just need to make it appear on a button action. To do that, first insert a button using the interaction dropdown. To add the action, you need to select the button and then go to the action tab. Here in these drop-downs, uh, 
select change the state of then the smart shape of the call out then second scene as that's your state all right so this basically tells captivate that on click of a button change the state of the call out to the new state that's all it's all done let's preview our interaction great it works so far now if you want to add more scenes you need to repeat the same process but there is a small catch let's see what that is okay so now if you want multiple objects to change state and captivate for example if you want the two callouts to change state simultaneously you have to add more actions to your button in captivate to do this you need to use something called as advanced actions so let's try to create an advanced action uh, so let's say in the third scene uh, you want one of your uh, callouts to fade and the second callout to appear so for that you will need an advanced action button and uh, to create it we'll first need to assign a new state to our second callout so as you did before uh, select it and then go over here click on the plus sign and add a new state name the state say i'll call it third scene and then change the desired properties uh, like here i will add some opacity and text to this call out Once you are ready with your new state, go to advanced actions. They'll do so, go to project and then click on advanced actions. In this new dialog box that opens, give your action a name, uh, say advanced button. And then add an action item by clicking this icon over here. Now in this first row, add a simple action by selecting um, change the state of, then call out to which is smart shape and this to third scene. So this is exactly the same action uh, that you created on your button but now we can have multiple actions so we can add another one by adding another row. And here we say that the callout one should change the state back to normal state, which was uh, when it was not visible. So this second line will make our first callout to disappear. So that's done. We've created an advanced action. Now we'll close it. Now you need another button to your scene if you want to have this advanced action uh, on a button click. So I will add a button and in this newly created button uh, you go to its action and now here uh, you select execute advanced action and in this next drop down you select advanced button. So Captivate knows that you need to execute the actions under advanced buttons that you just created. So that's all. Um, our second scene is ready. Let's check it. As you see, on the click of the first button, the first callout appears, while on the click of the second one, the first callout disappears, while the next callout appears. And this is what we intended. So if you want to add more scenes, you have to continue the conversation, you will have to repeat the process and create more states as well as more buttons. But the underlying process will essentially remain the same. Also, this is just one way of creating this type of interaction. You can have several different variations. For example, you can remove this button and make the conversation continue automatically with time. You just have to have different actions for doing that. 
Um, if you want to know more about actions, please go and check the module on actions in the concept module list. So I hope you try a variation of this interaction and post it in the examples and comments section below.